calculate the quantity of O2 that would be required to generate 12 moles of NO2 in the reaction below, assuming the reaction has only 76.2% yield. So we are given here the reaction, balanced chemical reaction. So in the problem, we are given here the percent yield. And if you can recall the formula for percent yield, so percent yield is equal to actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100. So the given percent yield is 76.2%. That is equal to the actual yield of the product, which in the problem is 12 moles of NO2. So 12.0 moles is the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield, which we do not know. It's not given in the problem times 100. So we are solving for the theoretical yield. So first, you divide both sides by 100. So 100 cancels on the right side. So on the right side, we have now 12.0 moles divided by theoretical yield. And on the left side, we have 76.2 divided by 100, which is equal to 0 0.762. Then what we do next is we cross multiply. So that will give us 0 0.762 times the theoretical yield. And on the right side, we have 12.0 moles. So to solve for theoretical yield, we divide both sides by 0 0.762. So 0 0.762 cancels on the left side. So on the left side, we have the theoretical yield. Let's write it completely. Theoretical yield, that's equal to 12 moles divided by 0 0.762. And this will give you approximately 15.748 moles of NO2. So this is the theoretical yield of NO2. But in the problem, it's asking for the quantity of O2. So, we have 15.748 moles of NO2. Let's multiply that by the mole ratio between NO2 and O2. So if you look at the balanced chemical reaction, we have here 1 mole of O2 and 2 moles of N2O. So that will be the ratio. 1 mole of O2, 2 moles of NO2. So the moles of NO2 would cancel out. So 15.748 times 1 divided by 2, this will give you approximately 7.87, if you round it off, moles of O2. So this is the answer to the question.